Cancer couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. The overall energy for your reading is the Ten of Cups. So some of you could have been dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it looks like there's something in your situation changing, possibly around a family situation. But it looks like the outcome is going to be very favorable for you. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so everything may not resonate, including details and outcomes. So please do not base any life decisions on a general reading. All right, so, and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs if you need it. And check me out on Instant Go. The profile link is directly below in the description box. So, it looks like Cancer Couples. <sighs> yeah, like I was saying, back to that family situation. You may have a family with someone and you could have been working on this situation for quite some time because it looks like um, this has been playing out for quite some time for some of you, okay? It's apparent that this is a third-party situation. It's a seduction, deceit, a broken promise. So you are dealing with someone in your situation, or it could be you, where a promise was broken. And that promise brought about heartache. Okay, I'm feeling a strong love triangle vibe, and it has been for quite some time. Three of Cups. But at the end, there's going to be cause for celebration, even if you can't see it now. Okay, I'm seeing that the two of you are on a break right now or you're headed for a breakup. Um, some of you ha could have decided that you no longer want to give this a second chance. For others of you, you're waiting for the outcome of a divorce, like a finalization of a divorce. Some of you could have started the process of it. Um, there's obviously been deception and someone's heading for the severance of ties cutting things off, finalization of things with the Queen of Swords, discerning the truth from a lie, because there's obviously been deception in this situation. Deception and envy. Okay, there could even be someone in your circle that is putting, you know, ideas in your head, but there's definitely someone in your situation that has been lying has been untruthful, and then you have some people around you that are maybe envious of what you have, and they want to take what it is that you have. Um, I'm seeing that you're headed for a new beginning with the Empress card here. This is fertility, new beginnings, and whatever this new beginning is, like I said at the top of your reading, it's going to be favorable. But right now, it just looks like you're going through the finalization of things, prep, uh, wrapping up, leaving a situation, tying up the loose ends. Um, let's see. You're kind of feeling like your partner for quite some time has been inconsistent. You're feeling like their story has been unreliable. You just can't rely on anything that they say to be the truth. You got the king and queen of swords, one in the upright, one in the reverse. And so the two of you are not seeing eye to eye. You're not on the same page. You are going down different paths. There's definitely some confrontation with the words. The words are very intense. There's obviously a third party that is reaching out to what, to the other one, and it's causing chaos within the relationship. But I don't feel like this caused the initial chaos in the relationship. I feel like that just added to it. It added fuel to the fire. So I feel like this is all about cycles, Cycles ending, cycles, new cycles beginning, because, you know, I, I can't stress it enough. That's what I'm seeing here. Something new is coming in for you, and you also have the star card. Destiny is at play here. So there's something that's destined to happen that's going to bring about this celebration. But in the meantime, you're just going through the thick of it because you're going through the tail end of the situation. And sometimes when you're going through the tail end of a situation, you may not be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But I promise you, the cards are saying that it's coming. You have the star card. That's light shining upon you. Okay, that's enlightenment. So whatever it is that you don't quite understand right now, it will all culminate and come together in the end. You will understand. But right now, like I said, when you're in the thick of it, you may not be able to see the lesson in the situation, but there is a lesson. 
Secrets. The light has been shed on whatever this was. What was ever done in the dark has been revealed. And I feel like we have amethyst, transformation, certainty, confidence. For certain, there is transformation occurring. There's transformation occurring in you, but it's going to allow you, it's going to require you to open your heart and be willing to allow to see that, allow this transformation to occur within you. Certainty, confidence. That certainty is that you will be fine. Even if you feel like everything's falling apart, you're going to be fine in the end. And that confidence in knowing that God has your back and that even though things seem intense right now, you're going to get through it. Yeah, here it is. Right here at the top of the deck. Light. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Someone's about to see the light here as well. See? It's all unfolding. It's coming together. In the end, you will see why. <sighs> Let's see. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for... Okay, you had too many cards come out. What advice do you have for cancer? Cancer couples nurture as you as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are important for you right now so this is a time to be careful with not be careful but a time to pamper yourself pamper your emotions be gentle with yourself and at the very bottom of the deck is courage be courageous stand up for your beliefs don't back down whatever it is that you've been going through it's all coming together okay so here it is repressed emotions healing reflection so you've been repressing some emotions holding things back but this is a time for healing and reflecting is what will shine that light okay loss grief sadness resurrection you will rise from this you're going through this period of loss. There could be a lot of grief and sadness as indicated by this card, but don't concentrate so much on the loss. This has been emotionally draining for you and you are healing. Okay, this has been very disappointing for you. You feel stabbed in the back. You feel betrayed. But you are healing. And once you do heal, that's when you'll see this change of perspective. Seven of Pentacles. You've been putting in a lot of work and effort into something, and now you're waiting for things to blossom and bloom. This is also you waiting, maybe waiting for an outcome. Like I said, divorces, separations, liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. You're liberating yourself from things that no longer serve you, which is why the Queen of Swords sits here in all of her glory in your reading. She... Queen of Swords has no qualms about cutting out someone or something that no longer serves her in her life. If someone brings her down, off with your head, she cuts this person out. Liberation, breaking yourself free from a negative attachment. So yes, healing. And then we talked about courage. So you're having that courage to face your fear. It says, facing fear, subconscious release, healing. It's going to take courage to leave behind that very thing that no longer serves you. Right? Leaving behind things that no longer serve you. Leaving it behind, walking away. You're, you're gathering that courage. Okay, some of you may have children with this person. There could be some type of news that could be unfavorable. At first, because I'm seeing deception, someone may come out and admit the truth. Or there could be someone acting in a very immature manner. And you're kind of feeling sad. You're feeling downtrodden. And like I said, emotionally drained. And you're wanting to move on to a relationship where you can get the accolades and attention that you deserve. Where you feel nurtured and you feel loved. But you don't. In this situation, some of you could be hanging on to this relationship, not wanting to let go because of finances. Maybe you're dependent upon this person financially or someone could be hoarding money or hiding money, not wanting to pay out child support, hiding their money so that the court system doesn't see it. OK, we've got a justice card and the judgment card like you're in a court and someone wants to act like they don't have the money. 
Okay. Someone could be financially draining you too with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Someone could be just hanging on to the relationship because they don't want to lose what they have financially, what they can benefit from. So someone could be, some of you could be dealing with someone who's just using you for finances. So let's take a look here. You're regaining your confidence in the outcome. Maybe not now, but I'm seeing that you have the potential to. The Queen of Wands, going after what it is that you want, having the courage and the boldness to say what it and do what it is that needs to be done in the situation. Six of Cups, okay, someone's dealing with someone from the past, an ex. Some of you might have, like I said, children with this person. Someone still has emotional ties. So someone could have came out and confessed their love for someone else. So I'm saying someone else is backing down emotionally and physically from this relationship. Some of you, your heart chakra is closed off from grief and you're afraid to open your heart again because I'm saying that someone else is coming into your life. The star card, the ace of cups, the ace of wands, someone new has stirred your attention. And if they haven't come into your life, I'm saying that they will come into your life in the near future. Okay. And for some of you, this could be someone completely new. For others of you, this is someone from the past coming back to try to rekindle things with you because they have regret and remorse about how things played out between the two of you in the past. Things became unstable emotionally with this person in the past and the home could have become unstable something disrupted the home and there could have been illusions but this is someone coming back to admit that they still love you and to try to convince you that they've matured and that they're ready for this and in the past yeah you could have been dealing with someone who was not mature emotionally someone who was immature and now they've matured so, like I said, that could be someone new coming into your life, or this could be someone from the past wanting to strike up a new conversation with you and see where things can go. Because I'm seeing happy times ahead, without a doubt. Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, this is happy times ahead. Nine of Pentacles. So this could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn for some of you. Doesn't have to be. Could be in their sun, moon, or rising Venus sign. Or it could just be someone who is very grounded, very stable. Um, someone who is very practical and down to earth. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Um, you have been in a very toxic relationship. There could be codependency, lust. There was definitely temptation. That's already been established. You know, and someone, you know, they, they, they let go. They uh, gave in to that temptation. And now, and you also, you went through hell with this person, you know. But I'm seeing the death card could be Scorpio for some of you. Now you're facing the end. But now there's also transformation occurring. Like I said, transformation, certainty, confidence. Something new is stirring within you. So yeah, what is coming toward you now is regeneration, rebirth, positive outcome. Enlightenment. That light at the end of the tunnel that I was telling you about. The realization. Now you see the, uh, you see this, you see now the, um, goodness, what am I trying to say? You see the lesson, okay? You discover your life purpose. And your life purpose, yes, this was a part of it. Because there was a lesson that you had to learn. We have the moon, cycles. So, End and beginning of a cycle, okay, with the moon. Lessons also come in cycles, just like 
everything else in life. There's a natural ebb and flow to everything. So in the end, after everything culminates, you will understand and you'll see the lesson. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Okay. Unexpected things. Th things haven't been going your way. You've been having this on again, off again cycle with this person and you're, you're pulling away emotionally. Someone has emotionally withdrawn from this relationship. And now you have someone from the past coming back to try to recover things. Now, others of you, you could have had some type of surgery, right? And you're recovering from that surgery. The Four of Swords, you're getting rest. Okay, so that's why there would be a need to nurture yourself, of course. So that's for some of you. You're, you're regaining your strength back. Yeah. And I just noticed this. At the bottom of this deck now is take back your power. Use your God-given power of and intention to manifest blessings into your life. And you have the ability to do so. That's all going to take courage. And it takes that spiritual reconnection, that rebirth that we were just talking about, along with appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. You know, getting that time to get grounded. Appreciating yourself. And not allowing the, your circumstance to dictate how you should feel. Sagittarius, for some of you, with the temperance in reverse, the Eight of Swords, you're releasing yourself from a situation that you've worked on for quite some time. Situation where you haven't quite healed from. Where your, your emotions are off balance. There's been a lack of healing. You're letting go of these old negative attachments. Whether this is a literal person, you're liberating yourself from old belief patterns that have kept you held captive. You're letting go and you're moving forward to this Ten of Cups, finding happiness and fulfillment elsewhere. And that's why you have Nine of Hearts here, fulfillment, harmony, protection. And that's what you're moving on to. You're no longer harboring resentments from the past you're moving on some of you may be ending your situations amicably but of course there's disappointment and sadness involved here that's natural you do have someone who is thinking of you a loving thought serendipity so you could get some type of contact from this person from the past trying to strike up a conversation with you to rekindle things okay now that you've learned the lesson how teachable are you? That's what this enlightenment is about. This was all a lesson in this cycle. Everything has a reason and a purpose. But it's all up to you how you decide to look at the situation and what it is that you decide to do with it. You're healing. You're moving on. You're discovering your life purpose. For some of you, this could be some type of a career change. You could be leaving behind a job that you've been working on for quite some time. You could have been at that job, and now it's time to release yourself. And it's time to end the situation. Yeah, we have the Eight of Cups, leaving something behind. Yeah, some of you could have been trying to hold on to a job that just was no good for you. You know, you had put in a lot of time, energy, and effort into this but there was some toxic people or you had some type of a toxic boss and reluctantly you're walking away or this could have been getting terminated, feeling disappointed, but now you're walking away into something that's better for you with the Ten of Pentacles, something that pays a lot better and makes you happy. So others of you, yeah, you could be getting some type of a message about a new employment opportunity yeah, um, emperor in reverse. You could have been dealing with a boss that was just a bit of a jerk, to say the least. I'm trying to keep my language censored, but yeah, you know what I mean. Um, so you walked away from that situation, and now you're going to find something better for yourself. So even, like I said, even though things can seem very frustrating, very sad, disappointing... 
there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you're going to see it very soon. Okay. Because there's someone else that is going to come into your life to try to rekindle things. Patience and planning. So you've been patiently planning things, moving forward into your destiny. Okay. So I'm saying, yeah, you're moving into this new life. And yeah, things can be overwhelming, but take some time out to breathe, to meditate, to get centered, to keep your heart open. Some of you, this is involving travel, or this is someone traveling to you unexpectedly, making plans to come and see you. Yeah. Taking a leap of faith into something new and leaving behind the old, which no longer serves you. So I'm saying joy. Joy is going to be restored in this situation. And you're leaving behind, like I said, all of these old toxic feelings, toxic emotions, any mindsets that don't need to go with you into this new life, you're leaving them behind. Liberation, letting it go. Trading all of these negativity, all, all this, yeah, all the negativity for something new, for something joyous. Seeing things for what they are, of course. Not trying to cover up your feelings. Healing from it, right? But facing the completion of it all. So that is what I'm seeing for you. Cancer. Cancer couples. Moving on to your destiny. You've got it in two different decks. Destiny. And you have the power to manifest what it is that you want. You have the power to bring that into fruition. Don't be so fixated on the why of the things that you don't understand. Like I said before, it's all going to make sense in the end. Eventually, you know how they say hindsight is twenty twenty, And then realize that the power is in your hands. You're not limited. You're only limited by your beliefs. So let's go ahead and pull an advice card to close your reading. Holy Spirit, what if, oh, you know, let me shuffle a few times. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for cancer couples moving on into a new chapter in their lives, closing out the old and welcoming in the new? Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for cancer couples? One more shuffle. Okay. transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. And at the bottom of the deck is inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. This is for males too. This isn't gender specific. Okay, so if you happen to be a male watching this, nurture yourself as well. Because you have that twice. There's definitely a need to appreciate yourself. Now, if this person didn't appreciate you, then you be the one to appreciate you and walk away with your head held high. There's transformation. There's, there's new changes occurring in you. You know, this is about a lesson. How teachable are you? And be careful. Like, if you don't learn the lesson, life has a way of sending us back around the same cycle until we finally get the lesson. So that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. This is a lesson. This is... Um, a new opportunity to change things. Okay, so you have someone from the past or someone new who has gotten your attention or wants to get your attention in more ways than one. All right, Cancer, this concludes your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by going directly to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And you can also contact me on Instant Go. The profile is below in the description box. Everyone, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment if you care to. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again next week. Take care.